What is good, YouTube world? It's Jay Coffee Talk tapping in very urgently. Wanted to get this content out to y'all. We got a lot to break down in this one. You know, there's one main story uh, regarding this when it comes to the YouTube prison world that I really want to address. But we're going to go over some other topics real quick and then just hop right into it. Full force, full steam. You feel me? But uh, first up, man. Pino, Pino, right? We've been covering how Pino is now engaged in battle with the Wicked One. They're going back and forth. And, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we've discussed this many times on the channel. You know, that Pino should have came out and spoke about this off the rip. No delay. He kind of tried to seem to somewhat shy away from the situation more or less just be like i'm gonna move away from dude without speaking on it and then now here he is battling at the dude battling with the dude anyways you know he should have jumped in off the rip but regardless when pino's name comes up you know many uh i've shared some screenshots with y'all that you know uh many people who watch the youtube prison community have found you know old messages convos with pino where you know dating back to when he first ever started rocking with the wicked one in any way they try to let him know and you know pino placed that aside and said yo i'm just trying to do what i'm doing um and you know at the end of the day that's always gonna hurt pino's name you know i've heard him say though that when he got back from the west coast is when he read the actual paperwork and really understood what the situation was but I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what you guys think about it. But like I said, I feel like when it comes to Pino, uh, you know, time after time when we have made videos and his name comes up, the general consensus has been that people feel like he knew. I don't know. But anyways, he's beefing with him now and we've seen it. He's calling him out. He got a hold of that footage that we were talking about the other day where the wicked one was just on some full out wicked ish running around Vegas, tweaked up off that Molly possibly maybe taking blast to or math i don't know this man was he was all the way out there you know because it's all falling apart because this is indeed a movement against the wickedness and he's feeling it we've we've you know we've been over this many times and he he just couldn't contain it anymore you know that was like a temper tantrum of a child except it happens to be a grown man who is a wicked creep is what we saw going on there but pino i guess put out a reaction video to it and now what happens to pino it's flagged it's taken down just some real whole moves from over there in wicked central um pino's like damn you got your wife snitching on me which as we we've been over many times she's just a brain washed you know four-legged beast who it's just like this is what she feels all she can get she condones the wickedness you know and sticks up for for the disgusting stuff and is just she's with it a very very creepy individual you know what i mean and you know she wants that thing down bad because as we pointed out in that footage she was attempting to cut off his data from home so he could not stream because he was out saying nasty things to females to kids it was just very disturbing stuff so you know lisa most definitely wants that gone and there they are, you know, attacking Pino's platform now. Atta like, that's just ultimate sucker shit, you know? That that shows the bully sick mentality from people that they're like, hey, I I'm going to do what I do and make my content or whatever. But the second anyone disagrees with me or, you know, the wicked ways about me uh, are exposed, fuck y'all. You, you guys' platforms need to be gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, and we don't need to explain anything. If anything, we'll antagonize and mock the victims. That's the way they move. And it's just, it's just pure evil. You know what I mean? And that's what it is. So tap in and let me know uh, what y'all think about this. But I will say this, there's reports leaking out. As we know, I've explained it before, the way it goes down in this YouTube world, there's like double agents or there's people that just watch multiple channels, have multiple identities, people that are tapped in with other people. And there's reports actually coming out that the wicked one is a little shook to go out there to Florida, like actually fears, uh, you know, being around that way where Pino's at, you know, like I'm dead ass. As we saw, he was shook about California. You seen when he talked to Coolio, when Coolio really brought the reality of the situation to him, 
he was like scared to go out there and he stayed out in the suburbish area on a sightseeing tour but i don't know here we are now pino and the wicked one going at it hit the comments with your thoughts on that now real quick how about milk did y'all see that milk takes takes his first bong rip of his life and as I put it out there to y'all many times, Jay Coffee Talk is not a smoker. I like have nothing against weed. I really wish marijuana did for me what it does for like 90% of the population. But it's like weed just gives me bad highs. I, I don't know. You know, I brought it up many times and people always say, yo, you got to get, get the right screen. This, that and the third. I don't know. It's like it just don't agree with me. When I was younger, I did used to smoke a little something, something. But. For all the stoners out there, I was just curious to know what you guys think about, you know, bongs, blunts, joints. Um, it's funny to me, though. Milk, at this age, this is the first time this man ever hit a bong. And, uh, you know, one of my friends I remember before, like, I've had friends that were, like, against bongs and bulls. Because they were like, yo, that shit feels like a pipe or something. Like, uh, like, a, like, like I'm basing it up out the pipe. And I always got a kick out of that. But... You know, a lot of people are just putting them blunts. I mean, there's still uh, like crazy amount of smokers that, that fuck with the blunts. But a lot of people are putting the blunts down because, you know, of the damage like that it does to you. You know what I'm saying? I've seen a lot of people revert over to papers who, you know, prefer to have their smoke rolled up. But um, I don't know. I thought this was kind of funny. What do y'all think about it? Um, hit the comments. Milk, his first bong rip, the bong debate. Let's discuss below, but now getting into this topic that I really, really wanted to speak on, y'all. Okay, YouTuber Black Bugatti, uh, formerly known as Black Bigot. This is a dude. Um, we're talking about his commentary, his video that he did on the Wicked One, and uh, we're going to react to that video in full. I'll try to get that up tonight, so stay tuned for that one. But listen. I know this dude as I've I, like for those who've been around the Jay Coffee Talk channel a long time, you know, um, I've always me and him have always had a good rapport. Um, as I always put it out there, our views on a lot of things are like totally different, but we're, you know, typically able to have a discussion. And we've actually talked about the wicked one uh, a couple times. And based on our conversations, you know, I, I felt like we we're pretty much on the same page, but I got to say I was taken back and a bit shocked by this video that he put out. And like I said, we will react to that video in full. Stay tuned. Y'all see me go live. We'll, we'll break it down. We'll react to it. And, um, you know, because he's cool like that. I ain't got to worry about him getting on some whole shit like Lisa and the Wicked One. You know, the Wicked One and the four-legged beast over there on Mousteen Island. You know, they, they want to uh, take down everyone's everything. Straight ho shit. But anyways, back to uh, Black Bigot. Stay tuned for that reaction. But, like, I don't know, man. Uh, for those who haven't seen the video, go check it out. Or, once again, stay tuned for my reaction. My bad, y'all. I'm kind of stalling out here. Um, if you didn't see my videos earlier, I'm pretty sick. I'm sick, so I'm not on my A game. Just been sleeping and try to stay hydrated and whatnot. But, um black bigot chimed in and once again y'all i've met this dude you know what i'm saying we've had some beers together like me and this dude is cool but i i was just totally taken back by this totally shocked uh and i'm gonna go over a couple things the first thing that he said was about the pressure that's on the wicked one it seemed like he kind of tried to downplay it a bit or basically what i'm saying is he he kind of said i'm not gonna call it a movement and he referred to people uh, whining about the wicked one. Now, obviously, y'all know I feel like this thing's a movement. You know, as I pointed out in many videos, this dude is pure evil, pure garbage, and it's got exposed. And based on, you know, people just all kind of getting together and saying, yo, this shit is disturbing. This is disgusting. Uh, we can't stand for this. Uh, we've seen him. He won't go to events. He can't fight pro, which I think that was all a bunch of BS hype anyways. You know what I mean? His sponsors don't want to rock with him. You know what I mean? He was moving across the country and moving back because they got that investigation out on him. You know, the registry hashtag no bridle like this dude is truly feeling it. Like we just said in this in this uh, Pino reaction that got pulled down the junkie reaction. This dude is out there just going berserk. 
talking foul about kids, just coming out and putting the evil all out on display now because he can't take it. The movement has gotten to him. It is indeed a movement. And then when it comes to what he was saying about people whining, I mean, I get it with any situation when there's a lot of content put out. Sometimes people just kind of get sick and tired of hearing certain things. But as I've let y'all know with this, um, when it comes to this kind of stuff, it's personal for a lot of people. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people have been victimized. Uh, it's it's a terrible cycle. And then something we've been talking about as well, you know, like this situation is personal to me. I, I'm one of the people like I'll put it right out there. This, this situation is personal to me. And then in society, how I always point out with any situation that happens, right? Whatever, whatever. Like, this can apply to pretty much everything, right? Like, just for instance, um, back in the day, no one really knew much about mental illness. People who were mentally ill, a lot of them were just treated up like flat-out criminals. Now people know, okay? And, and there's different things put in place in different places to try to help people, okay? But then you have where things get extreme, where, you know, maybe in, in a situation it's kind of overboard where someone fakes a mental illness, you know what I mean? Or someone gets away with something fucked up because they're mentally ill. Like, you know what I'm, do you guys get what I'm trying to say? That there's always where something tries to trend in a better way, but then it goes too far where you got to kind of have logic put to it and, and, and be in the middle and try to figure things out. What I'm trying to get at is with this wicked or in society now, a lot of things, you know, people are told to be more open minded, don't lash out against things. And that's good. Like some we just said, mental illness and just a lot of other things that have went on in society over the years. Um, now uh, it's like people are speaking out about it. OK, but as we were just pointing out in our recent video, there's groups of people trying to push for wickedness to be recognized in sympathized and that's absolutely ludicrous and will never happen do you guys get what it, it, it should never happen i should say it's absolutely disgusting disturbing it's pure evil these people that operate like that are the ultimate bullies you know what i mean and that's another thing we see with the wicked one the way he treats the four-legged beast um on camera things he's done to other people around him like we just know he's an all-in-all -all fraud and that's what I mean when I'm saying why this keeps getting brought up and why at the end of the day it's got to because it's just pure evil. And I don't know if Black Bigot or I'm sorry, Black Bugatti, Black Bigelow actually is realizing that because like I said, we've spoke about this before and he seemed like we were pretty much on the same page. But like I said, we're just different individuals. Our views on a lot of things are very different. But still, his video did kind of shock me. Um. But this this kind of stuff, it can never be let off. The all these wicked ones got to go. Um, something else Black Bigelow said was that he was kind of putting a narrative out there that he feels like the wicked one is is a good dude, pretty much minus this situation and that he may have made a mistake. And, you know, he was talking about how he knew of the situation before but like many other people was unclear of what exactly happened because of the name of the charge virginia you know going off this 18th century old english or whatever so that gave room for jeffrey maustein to lie about it and manipulate people and you know that's always a key thing is that he is a manipulator but uh, to what Black Bigelow was saying there, there is no, uh, in my eyes and many other people, there is no redemption uh, for this at all. And then aside from that, he doesn't want redemption. You know what I'm saying? Like he's lied about the situation numerous times. He's bullied the victim. He's braggadocious about it. And he doesn't want to explain shit. The only thing he wanted to do was lie. And when that was working, it was cool. But then the second it's not F everyone, you know, try to ruin people's lives, get people to lose their jobs. Like my point is, is he's just pure evil. There is no redemption for this, I feel. But aside from that, he doesn't want any of that. He flat out is is it's out there and he, he's letting it be known. He don't give two flux. He's a wicked creep.
And as far as how he was saying him being a positive dude, I mean, we've went over this before. Like, all that's BS as well. He's not really about that movement. That was game. That was his shtick, his gimmick to try to grow his platform. Which also I wanted to point out to, to Black Bigelow. Like, that platform, he's, he's got some subs, but his views are crazy down. Like, that channel's dying. But no, he is not positive minus this situation. No, that is not true. He's braggadocious about it, as I just said. But when it comes to all this other stuff, we seen what he went and did out on the West Coast. He tapped in with some OGs under false pretenses. He then tried to use their names in the hood and antagonize different gangs to create beef and ruckus in the streets. And, you know, could have ultimately ended up in guns out in people being shot and stuff all that what he's used to try to kick he ain't about that he ain't about that at all that was just his shtick and as i stated with these uh wicked individuals they're the ultimate bullies they prey on the weak um and in this situation this guy can fight a little something you don't ever see him try and pick on someone or go at someone who he feels fighting levels like are, are up on his you know what i mean he don't all he does is try to bully people, belittle people, um, talk down on people, destroy anyone by very disturbing means who disagrees with him, and lie. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like, or it just Black Bigelow was so off on this, I, I had to, you know, do this video and put it out there. Like, this guy, uh, like, Wicked Maustine is pure evil. He's a liar. He's shown us over and over again. And he, he's a bully, like I said, and a lot of this stuff it, it is personal to a lot of people, you know. And uh, Black Bigelow stated that there's probably a lot of people out there that have done things like the Wicked One and not been caught. And I'm, I'm positive of that. I'm positive of that. There is so many creeps out there. Um, it's just very disturbing, you know. There's people that just justify this kind of stuff all the time. And yes, so yes, there is a lot of predators lurking around out there. And you know what? They're probably this guy's biggest fan, you know? Like, I don't know if Black Bigelow is just not up on and privy to a lot of this information that a lot of us are as he hasn't been following the situation that close, maybe. But uh, Black Bigelow, I'm telling you, man, you're off on this. There is no redemption for this guy. This guy doesn't want any redemption. This guy is just a sick, hurtful, violent, bully predator. I mean, it's what it is, man. When he was lying and people were going for it, it was cool. But ever since then, he's let it be known. He doesn't feel bad about anything. He would do it again. And, you know, with all that being said, I'm going to kind of just close this video out. There's a lot more that I would want to touch on and speak on in this video regarding all this. But like I said, we're going to react to Black Bigelow's video in full and we'll kind of go from it from there. Like I said, guys, I'm not on my A game. I'm sick as hell. And there's also a story I want to share with y'all about a friend back home who uh, at some point, you know what I mean, who stuck up for wickedness. You know what I mean? It's like. I, I definitely want to share that story with y'all, but it's just I'm telling you guys, uh, as you know, society evolves and changes, a lot of people don't seem to have the capability to critically and freely think for themselves anymore. And there's a lot of people, you know, thinking that they have to be open minded to things. And um, there's these wicked creeps out there that are trying to push for that like they deserve to operate that way out in society victimizing innocent people and it's sick you know what i mean like wake up everyone stand with your gut instinct stand on you know stand 10 toes down and one more thing i will put out there before i end the video was black bigelow said something about a lot of people would cower away from this guy now as i always put out there y'all i'm no big tough guy um but we know the wicked one is actually, like I said, he's afraid to go certain places. We know he's just a bully. We see the way he treats his wife. And I always let y'all know I ain't about no street life or none of that. 
I, I, I like I ain't looking to tell on no one, but I, I would if I had to if it came down to it. Like I'm not I, I'm a, I'm a family man. I'm a square. I just like to come on here and kick it about the different content that I that I you know put out and cover. But when it does come down to getting down in the street, right? Um, you can't beat everyone. You know, you can't beat everyone. Now, sometimes though, you got to be out there playing for keeps and not trying to take an L. You know what I mean? I went upside the head of many a motherfuckers with some blunt objects in my day. And when it comes to this wicked one, like. You think anyone's worried about giving this guy a fair one or anything? Uh, you know, and, and like I said, he won't go toe to toe with anyone that he thinks may even have a fighting background. He's just out here trying to pick on average everyday Joe Schmoes. But just like when the Pino 1090 Jake situation happened, I'll use that as an example. How if you go back and watch my video, like I wasn't dissing Pino for doing what he did. I'm not saying that's how you got to rock, but sometimes you just got to go out there and uh, play for keeps, y'all. If that makes any sense. You feel me? Like if someone really had for real serious beef, beef with someone and they shot the fair ones and lost. Right. Um, but we're talking about a for real, for real type situation. How would you look at them if next time they came out? with some equalizers you know what i mean like when shit gets serious people sometimes refuse to take outs but as far as the wicked one he's really the one that's honestly scared out here trying to prey on the weak and that's just in his dna that's who he is so tap in comment sub to the channel stay tuned for that reaction video um when we're going to break down black bigelow's video and as I stated, y'all, I've known this dude for a minute. We talk pretty often. I, I really, like I said, there's a lot of times me and him disagree on situations. Um, but I, I was really surprised by this. But I, I think he's got a lot. I personally think he has a lot of things confused. You know, I really do. But let's talk in the comments. Sub to the channel. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.